What just happened, um, and like I said, I'm not trying to change the field, you know, give you some new teaching pedagogy. I went to the professional development that said use pictures in class as well. Um, but really, what has just happened? Um, I believe, as I look at the difference between that lesson and how my lessons usually are, um, is that my philosophy all along has been to somehow get my students to harness their curiosity about the real world um, and apply mathematical truths. Um, and what I found by doing this and trying this out in my classroom is that if I sprinkle in little tangible connections for my students, then when they start piecing that, those little tangible connections into their philosophy, then all of a sudden their philosophy has started to look a whole lot like mine. So that the realities that they see in the classroom point to a greater philosophy um, that they're taking part in in their education. Now, in closing, um, I do want to say one, uh, address one little distinction. Um, it's, it's a distinction between fantasy and philosophy. Um, and this is, I think, you'll, the importance in distincting, uh, creating this distinction between fantasy and philosophy is that fantasy is sort of imagining things that um, are very, that don't exist or that are very improbable. Right? So, for example, a fantasy, uh, an example of fantasy is a kid wanting Superman to save him from some childhood bullies. Um, the reason this is a fantasy is because obviously Superman doesn't exist. And the thing about this fantasy is what this kid will probably realize one day, hopefully, um, is that with his friends, with his parents, with the adults in his life, he doesn't actually need Superman. It was just a fantasy that wasn't uh, worth following in the first place. Another example of a fantasy would be a teacher <laughs> wanting to drive a Ferrari. Now, I don't want to make any assumptions on that teacher. Right? I don't know how much you guys get every two weeks, but <laughs> I think this is a fantasy, right? And uh, not only will it probably never exist, right, but it's something that I don't need. My Tacoma works great. Um, uh, it's a little higher off the ground, which I like. Um, but anyway, that's it. those are example of, examples of fantasies, right? Now, the philosophy is along the line. Here's the difference between fantasy and philosophy. Philosophy is a set of convictions or beliefs that really determine what you are actually striving for. And so here's an example of a philosophy. Let's take a look at a married couple wanting to spend time with their friends while raising a family. Now, for those of you, some of you might know, I just got married two weekends ago. Um, and so I don't, have, uh, I don't have kids yet, right? That wasn't one of those weddings. Um, but, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, just got married, so I don't have kids, but this is an example of a philosophy because this, a couple would want to spend time with their friends. Right? Now, when kids enter the picture, from what I've heard, that changes a little bit. Um, but the reason it's a philosophy and not a fantasy is because it is important. It's something that that couple needs, and it's something that, while it's a struggle, it's something that should be and is in merits pursued. Right? Um, and lastly, a uh, second example of a philosophy is a teacher seeking high achievement and success for their students. Uh, the reason this is not a fantasy and this is instead a philosophy um, is because Student success at a high level is something that this, these students need. Is it something that is difficult to attain? Absolutely. Is it something that it will be a struggle? Absolutely. But it's something that is absolutely necessary for their success. And so today, my goal was to talk to you a little bit about the difference between our philosophies of teaching and the realities we face every day. And hopefully, I've inspired you guys to think a little bit about how we let our philosophies and realities react, uh, relate to one another. And it is my hope that we let our philosophies feed rather than flow from our realities. Thank you.